Our YouTube channel is mainly focused on showers, as the name would suggest. But a large part of the shower doctor business is all to do with shower pumps and spares. Recently, our friends at Salamander Pumps have sent us this brand new 1.5 bar right pump. It has taken over five years in development, and I thought, what better time to do a video about shower pumps than now? Today's feature pump is the RP50PT. It's rated at only 45.5 decibels, making it the quietest 1.5 bar pump in the UK today. In this video, I will talk about the five main features of a shower pump that you can, should consider when you're um, buying, upgrading or replacing your current model. I don't want to go into too much technical detail, but I'd rather give a, just sort of general advice that anyone can benefit from. One more thing, if you'd like to have a chance to win this right pump model, um, which is featured in the video, just make sure you watch the video to the very end and I'll explain how you can take part in this giveaway. So, let's get started. Probably the most important thing to consider when buying or replacing a pump is the pressure. Um, is the pump for a shower, for the bathroom, or for the whole house. A 1.5 bar pump will do all of these, but perhaps we should look at this a little bit closer. A 1.5 bar for a shower, or a bathroom, or a small flat will be perfectly adequate. You may want to move to a 2 bar for a larger house or a larger capacity shower. A 3 bar for um, a shower with multiple heads, body jets, or two shower rooms. There are also four bar pumps, however, they are getting on for being industrial. Using one of these in your shower, with some showers, it may actually pin you to the wall, it's so much pressure. None of this is a sort of hard and fast rule, but a guide um, to just give you some indication of where to go if you're thinking about changing or replacing your pump. Once you've decided on, the, uh, on what pressure you need, what type of pump do you need? If it's a replacement, then you should just go like for like. If it's a new pump or a new installation, uh, do you need a positive or negative head pump, a centrifugal or regenerative pump? So let me explain. A positive head pump would be used where all the outlets are um, below the level of the cold water storage system. A negative head pump would be used um, when the outlets are above the level of the uh, cold water storage system. This pump can also be used in a positive situation, and thus the name universal. It can be used um, either positive or negative situations. Let's look at the Salamander pump, the RP50PT 1.5 bar, the quietest pump of its type on the market. This is a positive head centrifugal pump. The water comes in here, the impeller spins it round, and it's forced to the outside, which builds up the pressure, and it comes out here. The other type is a regenerative pump. And the water comes in here, the impeller spins it round, and it comes out here. Both of these pumps come in universal versions, which can be recognised by a pressure vessel which is mounted on top. Before we move on, I'd like to point out one of the interesting things about our featured pump, the RP50PT. That is Salamander's crossover technology. The advantage of this is that uh, one pump can be used as a shower pump, a bathroom pump, or indeed a whole house pump. The next most important thing when choosing a pump is the noise. Does noise matter? Yes, many of the modern houses have a cold water tank in the middle of the house. If your bedroom is next door to this, the last thing you need is an old pump roaring away uh, through the wall in the middle of the night. At this point, it's probably worth mentioning brass or plastic. A plastic pump will usually be quieter than brass. Traditionally, you would always think that brass is better. But in truth, mod with modern plastics, I don't think there's much between them. Brass or plastic is not really important. The thing here is to look at what you have. If it's a replacement, go for something the same or as near as possible to what you have. If you're fitting a new pump, think about the location. Make sure that there's space around the pump where you're going to fit it and that it complies with the installation instru instructions. When it comes to fitting, one of the other useful things with the Salamander RP50PT 
is you get the pump's isolation valves built into the connectors, a consideration because with other manufacturers you have to buy and fit the valves separately. Overall, the important thing when fitting a pump is to check the installation instructions and make sure they're fitted, your pump is fitted according to them. If you need any help in deciding which pump you need, drop us an email. Or if it's a replacement, send us a few photos of your existing installation and we'll see what we can do to help. Finally, price. I can wrap this up with one statement. You get what you pay for. You can buy a fairly cheap pump, but the more you pay, the better the quality. The better the manufacturer's support, the better the guarantee. When it comes to the pump, when the pump comes to being a bit older, also the better chance you have of getting spares. As I said, you get what you pay for. Thank you for watching. And now that I've explained the most important things to consider when buying a pump, Let's talk about the giveaway, featuring this RP50 PT pump from Salamander as the main prize. To have a chance of winning, go to the video description below and follow the link to a post on our Facebook page. Then just like and share the post and wait for the results. We will pick someone at random and announce the winner on our Facebook page. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We have many more shower and pump videos planned for the near future and we are also active on Facebook and Twitter. So make sure you follow us there for more advice. That's all for this time.